Hi everyone, I'm Thelma and my channel is Seasonal Crafts and Creations. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. I'd like to take a moment to invite you to remember to, if you like today's video, click that like button. It really helps my channel grow. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell and select all right next to it. That way you won't miss any of my future uploads and leave a comment. And by doing those three things and watching my videos, you will automatically be entered into the, the giveaway contest that I have going on. Um, I'll link more about it down in the description for you. And as always, if you have any questions about this or anything, just uh, leave me a comment. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this it's a haul, I almost said DIY, <laughs> haul. I have, um, it's Dollar General, Dollar Tree, and Family Dollar. So it's like a medium haul. So I'm going to start off with um, Dollar General first. I want to first show you these little um, boxes that they have. This one says, My Broomstick Runs on Coffee. And I think it describes me to the T. There's the broomstick. I love the little bats and the little coffee uh, for the O. And it's about an inch deep and $1.00. And the other one I bought is, um, let's see, My Trick Ain't Happy, Ain't Nobody Happy. Yeah, I could hardly see that orange, just kind of, the light was blurry on it, but there you go, that way you can see it. If I ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. <laughs> I like that. Um, and again, it's about an inch. Now these are just the perfect size for a shelf or uh, on a tear tray. They look real cute. And then I picked up two little wall pillows, I call them. Uh, this one says trigger treat with some orange ribbon trim and little um, candy corn for the O and it has a rope to um, hang it on which if you want you can just snip it off and use it as a little or leave it behind it and use it as a little decoration on a, um, a little bench on a tear tray under um, leaned up against something on a tabletop and then this one says happy hauntings with a black truck and a little ghost well it's missing it's a little black eye all you can do is uh, all you can you can do it similar but several different ways but get your little black marker or sharpie and color that right in but it's like two layers. You have uh, black on the bottom and then white on top. And all this is, it feels like felt. Let's see. And I have two of these little black with um, silver um, spider webs. My mind went blank again. Um, and they're real soft. And these were just a dollar each. And the stem is black, but uh, yeah, they're real flush. And the last thing from Dollar General is this home, sweet haunted home. I was able, finally able to get it this year. Now they also have a white one like this with um, what is this? With a witch flying her broom. And she's in uh, the pumpkin's white, and the riding is in black. But they were sold out of them again. Hopefully, they'll get them in again. Okay, next, I'm going to show you Dollar General. I mean, no, Dollar Tree. Let me 
see. I only have two uh, bags from the Dollar Tree. I bought me another one of these um, creepy cloths. I should have picked up two the other day, but I just, I wasn't thinking. And I got something in there. It's got a lot of glitter. And I, I found more Halloween cards. There's this one. And it opens up like a, an accordion. Like that. And it's a Expressions Hallmark. And they come with... Um, Real big orange envelopes. And right there, perfect fit with a little extra room. And then I found this one, Happy Halloween, with nine jack-o'-lanterns on it. Real cute. Now, I'm going to be um, giving you a bonus question for this week. It is, during my last video or, or the one before that, I uh, told y'all why I'm buying um, Halloween gift cards, what I'm going to be using them for. In a comment, um, let me know, and I'll jot your name down again and put it in the drawing box for the giveaway. And this is called uh, Heart Line Hallmark. And this one says Spooky Halloween Wishes, wishes, <laughs> wishes with three jack-o'-lanterns. Look at the little one there, how cute. And then there's that one and the big one. And I'm just going to lay all the envelopes off to the side. But as you can see, there's a difference in the size for the small ones. And then there's this one. It's a haunted house with a ghost flying out and a big old moon. And the, the moon is in glitter. The orange of the house and some of the words are in glitter. Oh, that one's orange on the inside. And it looks like just two more cards. Happy Halloween with a jack-o'-lantern and a witch legs and bottom of her skirt. This one looks like I might have already hauled that this year. Well, I could always use two for what I'm using it for and then there's boo to you i lo just love the little jack-o'-lantern there i think he's so cute he's silly and there's the inside okay now they have the they had these last year but i wasn't able to get them these are the um they're jack-o'-lantern and they're boxes. And they come all the way down to a real small one. I'm just but it says spooky down in the bottom. And you have the same lines on the outside, on the inside. And then this one, the lid, has jack-o'-lanterns. So free of jack lanterns. Let me see if the um, other one is the same. Yeah, they're all the same. And they um there's four different sizes. There's this size. The big one that I just showed you, there's this size, there's this size, let me show you the big one, 
That's the difference in the size. And then there's the little one, which is so cute. And this is the small one. And that's the, diff that's the difference in the sizes. Okay. Let me get these lids back on Just before I make a real mess. But you see um, on the thumbnail, I'm going to have them um, sitting next to each other. That way you can see the big difference in the, in the sizes. But what I'm trying to do right now is sit them on top of each other. That way you can see all the sizes. And there they are. that one. See how big that one is? Flip it around, see how little? But that, that's the difference in those. And then there's some I used mine. They had these last year. But they're, uh, they're white and they're two-pack and they have a scale uh, I see owls, jack-o'-lanterns, and some words uh, going all through it. And I found some more black and purple mesh. And here's some little uh, signs. This says, Beware the Wicked Witch and her little... Um, monsters live here and you have the witch flanner broom and I, I love how vintage they make this look and distressed and you can also flip it and make something in here take this off or you can um sand it down and and put your own design there and then this one it's just your traditional pumpkin that says trigger or treat. I really like it. And I like how the stem kind of represents a witch's hat. I just noticed that. And then there's this one that says a spooky witch and her boo um, haunt here. Up on the top is a moon and the bottom is the a silhouette of a witch and then you have this distressed look on the side real nice I like how they did the the edging with like oranges going through it there's just after this one there's two more this says eat drink and be scary <laughs> I like that it's real cute. Now this would be good like um, how, how the smaller ones on the bottom of a tear tray and how the big one on top with like a little pumpkin jack-o'-lanterns going around it. And this is Spider Venom Highly Toxic and it has a big O glittered spider in a spider web. It's spooky in itself. I don't like spiders. I mean, I don't like them at all. And this says, have a, spe a spectacular Halloween. I like this one, too. I think I would have liked this one better if this was a jack-o'-lantern instead of just a pumpkin. I think I would have really liked it better. Okay. That's it on... The, the dollar uh, tree. Now I am getting to the last store and it is um, Family Dollar. 
Let me move stuff out of this bag. They had this, um, it was in the fall, but the green and the orange I thought would look great with, um, Halloween. I should have got two of the, of the, um, orange. And when I seen this, I had to get it. I was not expecting to see, I... I wasn't even thinking of Hocus Pocus, but um, when I seen this, I had to get it. It says Hocus Pocus, and it has three different uh, pumpkins on it, and it's tied with rope, and it swings, and it's just plain wood. You can leave it or paint it, stain it. Uh, I'm going to leave mine as it is, and I want to show you the price. Only $3. And let's see. Let me show you. I'm going to show you this. I got another lantern. And this one was $5. Can you believe it? Let me get. Well. Oh, there we go. See it. Um. Well, don't tell me it's got a shortage in it. Anyway, you seen it light up. I'm going to have to um, play around with it. There it goes. Yeah, I'm going to have to take it back and exchange it. There's a shortage in it. Let me turn it off. But you can't beat that for five bucks. And when I seen these, and these were the last one of each one. They only had one each. And I wasn't I wasn't even thinking of gnomes or uh, Halloween stuffed animals or nothing. But this, let me show you the price first. Five dollars. Can you believe that? I've seen stuff like this for $14.99. And higher little feet hangs and um, this one is just holding a oh looky under his he's a jack-o'-lantern and his hat look how cute can it can be arranged it's got a wire in it you can arrange it like that. There's his big nose. But look at that. How adorable. I'm trying to. There you go. See? And it sits up. And then the other one. And, um. Let me see. Yep, there's only one more. Nope, I got. Two more things after this one. This is the other um, gnome. I'm trying to fix his little beard the way it, there. It's holding a uh, candy corn. I've been looking for those big candy corn wall signs that say trigger treat on it at the Dollar Tree. Can't find. I'd like to even find just one. And then I would take a. Um, cardboard and trace it and uh, repaint it and paint the uh, candy corn colors on all three on one I go trig or treat and um, I might just do it all on cardboard and paint it that's probably what I end up doing but I want to do that with these on a shelf and with what I'm getting ready to show you with it and I think it would look sharp looking but here's his little nose, and there he is, and he's got a black hat. But there's the candy corn, and his legs are black and white, and his feet are black. But this one, as long as I... There we go. It's hard to get your hands 
to be straight. But there you go. And then this was the last one of these. They had one that said trigger or treat. But this one is black with orange hocus pocus. And that was three dollars. Upside down, three dollars. Okay. Let me just put these back in the bag before I get them messed up. Okay, the last is some, um, I think it's three gift cards. Again, here's the big envelopes that come with them. And this one, I, I, I just love this one. It is so cute. It, it reminds me of my late, um, Banks that, um, this Halloween, I made two years ago, Halloween Eve. But, um, anyway, it says, Wishing you Halloween with good scares. Look how cute that little kitten is. Isn't she just adorable? Just so cute. Just a little ham. And it's orange inside. And I'm not reading the inside because my, um, Eyes are blurry from, again, my diabetes medicine not working, and they changed it, but it hasn't had time to start working yet. And then there's this one that says Trigger Treat, and it's got, um, looks like bats, uh, little different animals like raccoon, fox, and, um, but here they are. I'm going to bring it in close so you can see move my finger out of the way now back so you can see and then here's the inside and the last and last item is this one it says happy Halloween and there's little swirls indented all through it. I don't know if you can... I'm trying to get where you can see it. There you go. It says, Happy Halloween. And the inside is a light green. That's, that's real nice. Okay, that's it. I want to thank y'all for stopping by and checking out my channel. If you liked it, don't forget to please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow. Uh, thank you so much again for taking time out of your busy day to spend it with me. I really, really do appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Click the notification, select all, so you won't miss any of my future uploads. And you'll be entered into the giveaway contest I have going on. And leave a comment. Alright, till next time, stay safe.